when it comes to the conversation of um, building relationships, keeping them going, making sure that relationships stay strong and they keep improving in the quality. A key factor that comes in those relationships is how we communicate with people. Okay, and most of the relationships that are out there actually go wrong on this one thing, communication, how we communicate with people. So conflicts arise, barriers come up, egos come into place, right? And then because we've not been trained on how to understand and manage these complications, they tend to go bad. Okay. So this video of mine today is actually intended to speak about one such thing, a very, very powerful way of communicating with people that allows us to surpass, to, to, um, to just remove a lot of these issues that might come in the way. And this is what I want to share with you today. Most of the times when we are having conversations with people, the two things that people are saying or people are doing, one is what they're saying and the second is how they're saying it. And what tends to happen is we tend to get so stuck on the how they're saying it that we we're not able to understand, receive, take the what of what they're saying, right? So let's say you're speaking with someone, you're having a conversation and that person is a little angry on you. And they're going, right? So they're going like that. So what will tend to happen on the other side is because the person is coming around and speaking with right this, we will end up receiving a lot of anger and blame from it and not so much the merit of the conversation. I recently posted an article on LinkedIn uh, called the three pillars of uh, success and failure. And I wrote this one line in that, that there are often wrong ways of doing the right thing. Okay. So of course, they're probably saying it the so-called wrong way. Of course, they're going, right. They're of course saying it the wrong way, but then we also end up receiving it only 50%. We end up receiving on how they're saying it, not so much of what. So the moment we stop focusing, or even if you can reduce, if you can't completely stop, even if you can reduce a focus on how something is being said, and we can start moving the focus on what is being said, they'll start to have a great amount of impact on the conversations that we're having with people. Now, this comes from a lot of personal experience. For a very, very long time, I was stuck in a space where how something was being said was more important than what was being said. And I can't say that I've still completely come out of it, but as much as I have been able to come out of it, my relationships have significantly changed. I work with a lot of clients all the time. Sometimes clients are happy, sometimes they're not. When they're not happy, they want to come back and give you feedback. Now, when it comes to feedback, it's very important that we focus on the what and not so much on the how. We have to understand that when people are saying something, people often speak up after it's something inside has gone to this level, probably have that they're not able to keep it inside them anymore, right? And then it's very, very difficult because again, we've not been trained on this. It's very, very difficult for people to come out and say what they're trying to say, keep keeping their emotions aside. So what they want to say gets combined with their emotions and it comes out. Okay. And then we hear it with our emotions. And that's where relationships tend and conversations tend to get complicated. Okay. So what are we supposed to do now? This as much as possible. I'm not saying go around and start doing it in every single conversation. No, but if you're having 20 conversations in a day and you can start doing it in one fantastic, do this, start focusing on what is being said and not so much on the how. Okay. Try this and see how the conversations start to change and how your relationships start to change. All the best.